What's going on guys? Happy Thursday, hope you are well. This is just a quick refresher on hydration because I'm still, you hear my cat? I'm still getting questions from people asking me about hydration. So I just wanna help lay it on the line so you guys understand how much you need to be drinking every day and not following this, this gallon a day challenge from 75 hard, okay? Basically, if I'm a 95 kilo male, sorry, basically, I'm a 95 kilo male. If you're a 60 kilo female and we're both drinking a gallon, a, liter, a gallon of water a day, do you really think we both need that gallon a day? Doubtful, right? I train twice a day. You train once a day. Let's say you train twice a day. I train twice a day outside in a, in a heated environment up in Queensland. You train twice a day in Tasmania in winter. We're going to have different sweat rates, all right? All these different things come into play, which is why a general fucking gallon a day of water is ridiculous, okay? So what we want to focus on instead is a simple thing of hydration by using our urine color. So when we use our urine color, we're trying to look for a straw urine color to know if we're hydrated. If you are peeing lighter than straw, if it's clear, you're actually drinking too much liquid, and that is a bad thing. Why is this a bad thing? Because when you drink too much liquid, you're going to be excreting electrolytes. When you're excreting or pissing out electrolytes, you're going to be losing electrolytes, which means we're going to be losing sodium potassium, all right? The issue with this of losing sodium potassium is that if you're a female and you're drinking too much and you're overhydrated and you have less electrolytes, your blood pressure will go down. You will get dizzy. You will get head spins. You will not be able to push yourself and exert yourself hard enough because you actually have low blood pressure. All right. Not only that is losing electrolytes. Like you don't want to be doing that in general. It's putting more of a load on the kidneys and uh, raising. I cannot remember what the uh, hormone is for that, but there is a hormone that obviously tries to manage your water intake, which can be manipulated quite easily if you're drinking too much. It'll try and excrete it because it's trying to get it out as fast as possible. And how do you know if that's happening? Aldosterone, that's what I'm trying to think of. How do you know if that's happening? You go into the bathroom every fucking 15 to 20 minutes. You can't sit still properly because you've got to piss all the time because you're drinking too much, okay? On the opposing hand, if you're darker than straw, that's not a good, that's not a good thing either. So... Let's take me for example. If I just go and do a heavy boxing session for an hour and I'm sweating, I don't really drink much liquid. When I go to the bathroom after and I urinate, what happens? It's dark. And I'm like, oh, my question is like, why is it dark? Well, guess what? I just sweated my ass off in boxing for an hour. I probably lost about two and a half liters, okay? Liters. And now for me, I'm like, I need to replenish that in order to be hydrated again. So that's why my urine's dark. The same as you. That's why urine is dark in the morning because we need to replenish ourselves from being dehydrated overnight for not drinking for eight hours, which is why a glass of water in the morning is the most beneficial thing you could be doing for yourself just to rehydrate overall, all right? So this way, instead, what you need to be doing is monitoring your liquid intake and then seeing what your urine uh, is coming out like, all right? Now, another thing with this is if you are having B vitamins or a multivitamin complex, your urine will come out fluoro sometimes. What I would say is limit that for one to two days and get an idea of uh, what your urine looks like without the B multivitamins or the multivitamins themselves, just so you can actually see are you hydrated enough. So keep your fluid levels the same, just don't have a multivitamin for one to two days, okay? You're not gonna fucking die without it. It's just gonna help you understand to see if you're drinking enough or too little. Then you can bring that bad, bad, then you can bring that bad boy back in. Now, a little tip for you about hydration, caffeine itself does dehydrate you. However, coffee does not, um, tea does not. The reason for this is because you're having more liquid. If you're just pumping espresso shots all day, then yeah, you're probably gonna be dehydrated. But apart from that, you're not gonna be dehydrated because you're having a good amount of liquid in there, whether it be from milk or water, whatever it's gonna be, that's gonna keep you you hydrated, which basically means the liquid you're consuming from that is gonna be the same that you output from that, which is a good thing. So you can drink your coffee and your tea without stressing about being dehydrated, okay? Now, finally on that point, in regards to hydration, one thing we also have to remember is food contains water, right? Water is, food from the water will hydrate you too. This is why I don't like to give an exact number of like have X amount of liters a day because so many things contribute to your overall hydration. So don't get stuck in this one point where you're like, oh, I gotta have four liters a day because it's like when you have your oats, when you cook your veggies, when you're cooking anything, there's gonna be water within there and they all contribute to your hydration, okay? So just little things to remember. Now, if you wanna keep yourself a little bit hydrated longer, this is also where sodium plays a good part. Having something with sodium or carbohydrates in your liquid will hydrate you longer than just water itself because carbohydrates contain water. Sodium attracts water. 
So these two things added into water, so when you look at Powerade, Gatorade, any of these things, and they have sodium and carbohydrates in there, they will hydrate you longer than water, okay? Same thing, milk will hydrate you longer than water. So these things can be beneficial in your diet to keep you hydrated for longer. So that's some quick refresher tips on hydration. I hope that helps. If you guys have any questions, send me a message on Instagram, at Tyson the Trainer with two R's, I'll speak to you next time.